Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Kevin's Live here in Dunbrody House. It's cold out there, and we thought we would do a beautiful, savoury mince uh, dish for you today. A little bit of spice in it, and it's just going to warm their hearts. So the first thing we're going to do is we have the pan on. We've got some lovely mince, mince there, so we're just going to get that going. We'll put a little bit of olive oil into our pan. And while that's heating up, we're just going to chop up our onions. And so a few hero coming up and a few people are uh, mentioning that they watched you yesterday on the <laughs> TV. Yeah, it was good fun yesterday. It was one of those days, what can I say? Good crack. Anyways, it's very important in this world that you're able to laugh at yourself too. So uh, when you when you do mess up. Come here, and I've got the onions in there, and I've got uh, some garlic going in. And we have some carrots. Just gonna roughly chop these. Uh, is it similar to a, a ragu? It is kind of a ragu, but it's. Uh, I think what's great about this is the one pot dish, so you can just cook, cook everything into one dish. You can let it simmer away on, on the stove there for an hour, and it's just going to fill the whole house with amazing uh, aromas. And uh, and people, and particularly if you have people coming in at different times of the day, you can just have this on the stove, and they can just take a nice bowl of it and uh, it will work out perfectly for them, so. Here that goes, and then we're gonna put in our mince into there. There's a little bit more oil in there, actually. Uh, what kind of things are you using? Hey, what? Uh, what kind of mince are you using? This is beef mince, but you can use lamb mince if you want to do, or a combination of both. You can actually do this with turkey mince as well, high in protein. Uh, really good for, for uh, if you're on a high protein diet and you've got a lot of sporty people in your house. Okay, uh, we've got some tomato puree going in. We've got some courgette here as well. Again, just chop it up roughly, so nice, nice yeah. cubes. What's yeah. that, cube? John's asking, can you do this in the slow cooker? You can, it's actually perfect for a slow cooker, so. But I'm gonna be doing a slow cooker recipe for you for tomorrow, which is a delicious recipe, so. Okay, so that mince is browning up there nicely for us. Just kind of with your with your wooden spoon, just kind of like nearly chop the chop the meat so you're getting it brown all the way around so you don't get any big lumps of meat in it. You want to break up so it's a nice thing. Caramelized. And today we're going to put in our courgettes. Uh, how long do you think this should take to cook? But, like once you get a, once you get everything in there, you want to let it simmer for about a half an hour and stuff like that. So uh, at least a half an hour. So. so we've got some curry powder here in there. Don't be shy with it. And then we've got some chili flakes. Now it's up up to you. You can either put the chili flakes in or not. It depends how spicy you want it. smell of the aroma is beautiful isn't it Julie? Yeah it smells amazing. Yeah. Really really good. Okay. Uh, can you prepare it in advance? Right. You can't listen you can do that today and it would last for three to four days in your fridge. No problem at all. I've just got a little bit of corn flour so I'm just going to sprinkle that over top and that will just help thicken the sauce so you got a nice uh, thick sauce in it. 
stir that through. And then we're going to add uh, some vegetable stock or some chicken stock. Vegetable stock is probably better. And let that. I think that they can't try to try to do this today. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just a wonderful dish. It's really, really good. I have some potatoes here that I've cooked, pre cooked, and I've just quartered. Just like so. Kieran is saying no butter or cream today. No, no. I don't know mustard either. I don't know what's wrong with Julian. Yeah, no, yeah, I missed that one. Yeah, could have put mustard in this one. Yeah. Well, you could have put cream in it too. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to add cream or mustard, don't let us stop you. Uh, did you ever add uh, curry paste in it instead of curry powder? You can, yeah. And you know, it's a really good brand. It's a brand called Petets. Uh, curry paste, really, really good. If I was going to put curry paste in here, I'd probably put a Madras curry paste into it because there's a good bit of spice to it, which is what you're looking for. Okay, if you just look, look at that now, it's just delicious, isn't it? Just let that sort of, like bring it up to a good boil and then reduce down the heat down to maybe two on your, your gas drain and just let it simmer away there and do its magic uh, for, I don't know, half an hour minimum, a half an hour, but fairly an hour. And it's just going to get better and better and better. And in fact, if you uh, chill this down, cook it, chill it down, and reheat it tomorrow, it'll be better even again, because the curry spices are just going to come through the meat and through the potatoes and everything else. Gorgeous. Enjoy this one. We'll see you tomorrow too.